Hello everyone, my name is Renee Espinosa and I will be doing my video presentation on how to make a Venn diagram foldable. Um, so real quick about my foldable, I'm using it for the passage that we did for our annotated um, reading on To Kill a Mockingbird uh, at the end of chapter 2. Um, the reason I chose to do the Venn diagram uh, foldable is because I really wanted my students to contemplate the disparities between society back then versus today. Uh, okay, so to get started, uh, you need a blank sheet of paper. Um, printing paper is fine. I mean, you can use any paper, really, just as long as it's the eight and a half by eleven and a half. I think um, printing paper. Okay, so now you will take the paper and you're going to do a hot dog fold in half. Not hamburger, hot dog. So you do that real quick. Now once you have uh, your hot dog fold, you're going to fold the hot dog into three parts. So you usually kind of just get a guesstimate. Roughly, it doesn't have to be perfect like that. And just make sure you push down on the creases, like so. And once you take it apart, you open it and you should have six sections. Um, don't cut the creases yet because you're going to want to write on this and you'll find that it's a little bit difficult to write on it when it's moving. So um, what I did is in the middle, I took some kind of tool, this is just a basic candle cover, and um, I thought it would be really neat to help me draw out my ovals because I have a terrible, terrible artistic skills. So I found a neat trick that where you only trace half of the circle on both sides and it actually looks like a decent oval so you're gonna repeat this process twice only to trace half of the circle with whatever tool you're using you can definitely uh freehand it, it just depends how neat you want your circles to come out so here we have the two oval looking structures. Um, what you can do is you can just connect the lines real quick where you stop drawing, just so it looks nice and whole. So once you do that, you take whichever two um, items you are gonna be comparing and you can label them on each side and in the middle you can just call it both or similarities so we'll do that real quick item one item two and in the middle we have both okay so now you're ready to cut so you'll take out a pair of scissors Uh, be sure to, when you're cutting, um, you cut as close as possible to the edge because when you lift these up, you don't want it to tear your paper. So just try to get as close as possible. Now on the inside, what you'll be putting is things that stood out to you for this item that... Uh, make it different from item two and vice versa you put in items you can do bullet points uh, whatever you feel like um, that make item two different from one and in the middle you do the similarities so now I'll show you how mine came out so on this side we have the early 20th um, American southern american society um in the middle we have both and on the other side 
is modern day culture and society. And on the top, I just put To Kill a Mockingbird just to make it clear that this is um, what my students will be using when they are reading the novel. So on the inside, you can see I color coded it to match each section. Um, so I was able to fit very easily um, three bullet points, but you can obviously have your students do more. Um, on the top, I did leave it open for space for um, drawings, but what I thought was a really nice idea is that you could even have your students on the very top, like here, um, write questions that they still have, maybe about each section or for both. Um, like, or like I said, you can also make drawings. It's really up to your discretion. So thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone has a good day.